Hey guys, so I'm back with another tutorial. I'm just gonna do this really easy, like sort of greenish kind of summery look. Um, I actually did it twice today because I did it this morning. I was just kind of playing with this new palette that I'm gonna show you right now. I got it in my BoxyCharm. This is not a palette I would ever pick for myself, but that's one of the things that I enjoy about BoxyCharm is like I get brands and things that I would never choose for myself and it kind of like pushes me as a makeup artist to use different colors and products and brands and that sort of thing. So this is actually the Butter London Natural Goddess Palette. I had never used really anything by Butter London. I always thought of them as like a nail polish brand, um, but I'll say I'm very impressed. It's like a new fresh eyeshadow palette, so I expect a lot. Um, I always find that when I first get eyeshadows, they're like the creamiest and they're the easiest and this palette did not disappoint. So I mostly used this green color, and then I really just used a couple of the shimmery tones. So I'm gonna eventually touch this one. I haven't actually even swatched it or anything yet. I'm gonna use a little bit of this dark brown one, but that's like no big deal. Everybody can use that. Um, so anyway, um, keep on watching if you wanna see how I came up with this, and I'll show you the step-by-step. -step. All right guys, NARS Sheer Glow Foundation, applying it with fingers. This is the way Vito at the store told me to do it, and it's like, was such a great tip. And like basically I just kind of like moisturize my face with it. Like I just kind of rub it in with the tips of my fingers and I love it. I love everything about this foundation. I'm in the color Santa Fe and I find that if you just like push it in with well moisturized, um, on a well moisturized face with your fingers, clean fingers obviously, you get the best effect. And then today I'm priming the eyes with a MAC Paint Pot in the color Painterly on the lid and a little bit underneath because I know I'm going to put some shadow there. And then I'm going to start with a little bit of a mineralized skin finish in Light Plus and I'm just kind of setting my base with that. Some people do that, some people don't. Um, I just find I get like a nice blend and that's a very light, finely milled powder so I find it works really, really well. Then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with my transition shade. I'm actually using a MAC blush. It's called Harmony. And it's like a nice warm sort of tan color and it works great as a transition. So I'm just kind of like blending that into the crease and I'm just kind of like feathering it and buffing it so that when I put this green, it'll have something nice to kind of blend into. So this is the Butter London palette in Natural Goddess. And I got this in a boxy charm, and I'm really impressed with the palette. I'm just taking the green shade on a Morphe. This is the M433, if I'm not mistaken. And you can see I did not have to work hard at all to get that green color payoff. And the other thing that I really liked about it is it didn't drop down. It was just really easy to use and easy to blend. So then I went in with this deep brown that's also in the palette, and I just kind of took a little pencil brush, the end of this Urban Decay one anyway, and I just kind of like tapped it in the outer V. Um, and I just thought that would be sort of like a nice anchor for that green because it's like if you have green on the lid, you kind of need like a little border, like where's it gonna stop? So that's what I did with that. And then I took that shimmery champagne color and I just kind of blended that in the inner corner. So you have like a little bit of a gradient and we're gonna go back and blend everything. But I'm gonna show you like just in fast forward, I am going back to my second eye and you can see it is so easy and it just gave me no trouble whatsoever. So just super fast forward, just repeating the steps, transition, green, dark on the outer, and then a little shimmer on the inner corner. So now I'm just going back and forth to make sure it's nice and even. And then I got this big fat blending brush, which I wasn't sure if I was going to like it. I got it from the BoxyCharm. And um, oh my gosh, I love this brush. And I'm just kind of going over the edges just to smooth everything out because even though it's like kind of green and like maybe not your usual eye look, I did want everything to really, really smooth and wearable. So I found this brush, I find this brush in general to be super helpful and just really easy to use. And I find myself reaching for it all the time. So two thumbs up on that. Um, and then I'm just going in and I'm kind of like pressing the foundation in, making sure I don't have too much on. Cause I actually find one one pump of this is enough um, and sometimes by habit I'll use two so I'm just kind of like absorbing the extra product a little bit of Tarte Shape Tape this color is too light for me actually this morning I just put it away for fall and for winter when I'm pasty white it is way too fair but I'm just gonna kind of like buff it in with the blender 
and we'll make it work. But I'm definitely going to go uh, find one of my darker shades because I think I have like three or four in my kit somewhere. Um, so that's what happens. I go shopping in my kit when I need what I need. So real quick, just doing a little bit of brow. This is one of the brow pencils that I got from the BoxyCharm. I'm telling you guys, like nine times out of ten, it's a hit. Um, once in a while, like I'll get one like product that I'm like, this is not for me and I'll give it away, but I'm loving BoxyCharm so much. And I did the Lux and now I'm just like, not sure if I'm going to keep the Lux because I have so much stuff, but at least I'm going to keep the regular BoxyCharm. It's like four to five full size products every month. Um, anyway, let me finish telling you what's happening here. I'm going over the brow pencil with a little bit of eyeshadow. It's my usual MAC Fashion Fix. It is a pro long wear, but it was limited edition. It's a lot like, uh, there's a color called Concrete, which is like a dupe. And anyway, she, um, so let's see, what's she doing? She's putting on her, I'm like looking at an email, you guys, I'm sorry. Um, green eyeliner, and I'm just, this is like one of those, I believe this is called... I'm going to find it. I want to say it's called Swamped, and it's one of the MAC, like, retractable um, automatic ones, and I'm kind of just doing, like, a skinny line just to, like, border from the lid to the lashes and just wiggling it in the lashes, upper and lower. I'm going to get the bottom ring soon. I find with these pencils, I do have to work a little bit, but the trade-off is that they do, they don't, like, smudge like a coal that kind of goes right on, but the, a coal will smudge and this one like it keeps a nice tight line so I do enjoy these um, liners I have a few colors of them and then I'm just doing a little bit of set powder under the eyes loose powder and then I'm using the MAC mineralized skin finish again in light plus just to kind of set everything so that when I go in with blush and bronzer it doesn't skip and it doesn't like get jagged you know what I mean like in my cheekbone if I don't have it set first it might not blend so well and this is just a quick step see this brush you guys it's a Tom Ford brush it's a beautiful brush my husband got it for me and I was like what do I do with this but I saw Scott Barnes use it and he used it for like eyeliner just to like blend out the edge so that's what I'm using it for um anyway this is my Marc Jacobs Omega Bronzer. It's this massive bronzer, and I use this big, big Tom Ford brush that I absolutely love. And I find this bronzer is, like, really easy to use. It, you don't go too far too fast, usually. And then a little bit of blush. This is Makeup Geek blush. I like these colors. Um, we're using Spellbound, and I'm just, like, dusting it on my cheeks. I don't really have much apples anymore. They've kind of just gone away with age, so I just kind of put it like where my apples would be. And then my favorite highlight is in this NARS palette. I think it's called like Come and See Me or something, but it's just a beautiful champagne, but it's not too yellow gold for my skin tone. And then I take this big brush from Sonokashic and I just kind of like stamp everything and blend everything and then go from there. And then I didn't even realize, you guys, but my headband matches my eyeshadow. So I did lipstick. MAC kind of sexy and then I did a little lip gloss but I don't like watching myself put lipstick on on these videos guys and I was like ugh, that is wretched so I cut out that footage and then I just did a little lip liner which you saw but you know how to put on lipstick and lip gloss like you can use your imagination you know what happened um then a little bit of eyelash curling and a lot of mascara I cut this footage down but I'm like putting those lashes for like five minutes it's true. You got to build them. Like mascara is not like one or two swipes. Like you got to keep going if you really want your lashes to be like black and thick. See, now we're doing more. And then last but not least, this is the MAC Fix Plus Setting Spray in the Coconut Scent. I love it. It smells so good. Tossing out the hair because makeup always looks better when your hair is down, or at least in my case. And then I'm just showing you guys the mess that I make every time I make a video or really anytime I am getting ready and I am doing my makeup. Um, but don't worry, I cleaned it up. I hope you guys liked the video. Please let me know in the comments below and I will see you in my next one.